What is going on YouTube? This is yours truly, I'm Tim Ray, coming at you guys with another video. Before we go in, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share the video. This is going to be a follow-up uh, to the bucket list video we did about uh, two weeks ago. And we have come upon the time to make another purchase. And I need y'all help. <laughs> I'm a little confused. Uh, but I do have, um, you know, the top four guns on my radar, and that would be uh, Smith & Wesson Model 629, the revolver and 44 Special. That's probably going to be the least of the priorities because I don't really feel like getting into another caliber. I just got into 5.7, uh, but it's still a possibility. It's still on the table. Um, again, the lever gun, uh, want to get that as well. Um, and 357, Big Boy uh, by Henry. Uh, that is on the table. Want to definitely uh, get one of those. Eventually, I'm going to get all of them, um, but the boss is only giving me approval to get one. I don't know about you guys. If you're married, uh, you have a boss. All right, <laughs> going on. Um, the other would be the Kalishnikov KP9. Uh, that's the uh, nine millimeter pistol caliber carbine that has the uh, AK features. Uh, that is definitely on the priority and definitely on the table uh, for the next purchase. And last but not least, um, I think I settled upon my uh, semi-automatic shotgun. I uh, was looking at the 1301 and also was looking at the Benelli M4. Uh, the M4 is gonna be out of the question for um, two reasons uh, in particular. Uh, not the price, uh, the money is not the issue, uh, but the one thing I do not like is that when you buy a Benelli M4 in the United States, it has to come to you neutered because it has to have a certain amount of American parts to be compliant. Unfortunately, it comes with a five round tube and I'm not willing to spend two grand on a gun that only has uh, five rounds and you still have to uh, put in an additional thousand dollars to 1500. By the time I get through with it, Benelli N4, you're talking, you know, $3,500. You know, for that kind of money, I can go out and buy an FN's car, in my opinion. I'm just not, I'm not willing to uh, put that kind of money into a shotgun, um, but I've actually um, decided on uh, the Beretta Patrol A300, the new shotgun. Uh, the only difference between that and the 1301, from what I've seen, is that it does not have the blink system, and the blink system, you know, it's their unique uh, gas operating system that allows the gun um, to release rounds quicker. So it's gonna be quicker. However, it's gonna be more felt recoil from what I hear. So I'd rather have, you know, just a normal operated gas system. So um, I'm looking at the uh, Beretta A300 uh, Patrol. Um, and then, you know, I can save about $600. You know, I love saving money. Um, you know, I can just buy some more ammo. Um, but yeah, um, that would be awesome to be able to get um, a semi-automatic shotgun. It's something I want, something that I want to add to the collection. And it is high, high on the priority list. So again, um, these are the four contenders for my next purchase and I'm probably going to do this here within the next day or so I'm just going to sleep on it, you know, um, and thinking about it because I don't like to make uh, spontaneous decisions, but again, we have the Model 629 Smith & Wesson Secondly, we have the, uh, well I should say, thirdly, we have the Henry Big Boy 357 um, Would love to pair it up with my um, current 357 Smith & Wesson Model 686. We'd love to pair it up with that. And I'd love to get a pistol uh, caliber carbine chambered in 9mm and Kalishnikov KP9 is the one I have my eyes on. Um, you know, I like the Scorpion, but everybody and their damn mama has a Scorpion. I would like to just get something that not everyone has. Um, secondly, uh, well, last but not least, semi-automatic shotgun. Looks like the Peretta A. Uh, 300 patrol is the one um, I can't ever find a Mossberg uh, tactical 940 you know that's another one that could be on the table uh, but I just can't find it but for the savings um, on the Mossberg I'm sorry the uh, Beretta A300 uh, to me uh, the $600 difference for the blink system is just not enough for me to justify it so yeah I'll save $600 and get the Beretta um, but yeah those are the um, guns that are on the table for this next purchase here within the next 24 to 48 hours. I uh, would like to have you guys input, uh, get down in the comments, tell me which gun would you buy if you were me. So those are the four on the table. I'm also going to um, put something in the community tab where you guys can can vote. So go over to the community, community tab and vote for what gun you think I should buy next. 
And that is pretty much all I have for you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Like always, 2A up.